struggle getting clients in this video i'm going to talk about a foundational process that you could take in your business where you'll never have to worry about clients again stay tuned So I started uh, my coaching business in the pre-social media days, right? Right as Facebook was starting to begin. So the majority of my clients at the time came from the gym. They came from just people. And at that time, I was really struggling making money. So I started to sell nutrition programs to my clients. Well, apparently you're not supposed to do that. And so I got fired. And when I got fired, I was like, yeah, who needs you? I'm going to go off on my own. I'm going to build this business. And so I went off on my own and I got like maybe two clients paying $15 an hour. And what was even crappier about that is I had to pay rent to the place that I was renting. And so I actually lost money trying to build my business. So I ended up going back uh, to another corporate job, but I didn't have to. And if I was doing what I was supposed to be doing at that time, I wouldn't have had to worry about finding clients. And so I'll show you a process that I so wish I would have done when I very, very first started coaching. And I know that if I would have, okay, I would be in such a bigger spot than we are right now. However, we are doing pretty good, so I can't complain. But if you do this right now, I know that it's going to get to the point where you will never have to worry about getting clients ever again. Okay, so what is that process? Well, it comes back to a little basic thing as giving, right? And getting in front of people. And I know what people are thinking. Well, I don't have as many followers as you do. I don't have a group like you do. I don't have as many friends on Facebook. And I was like, no one ever starts there. Everyone always starts with one follower. Okay, one. Everyone starts with one follower. And the first follower, okay, is not somebody else. The first follower is yourself. Okay, you have to continue to follow through and put things out there, put posts out there. Okay, in my next video, I talked to you about the breakdown of how to actually put together a post. Okay, and the kind of the skeleton of what that looks like. Okay, but um, going back to it is like you have to continuously do this process and to give to people. And so what that process looks like is you need to build lists, lists of people that essentially are interested in your content. And so going back to all social medias, you want to find what social medias are the ones that my ideal client would be hanging out on. Okay, so for for us okay, and for mo I'd say most coaches. Facebook, Instagram, okay, LinkedIn, and actually YouTube, okay, and then what's gaining some momentum is TikTok, if I'm even spelling that right, <laughs> okay, so we need to create followers on different one of these platforms okay so we started on facebook we went to instagram linkedin okay now we're on youtube and tiktok and you know what? we don't have as many followers as there we don't have as many people but guess what who the fuck cares okay it's not about your ego it's not about whether you look good enough it's about truly helping people okay and if you stick with it Okay, you will get those followers and every person that I've talked to that's been successful on every platform, it's just they kept going with it and they got people addicted to their content. They got people really subscribing to what they're doing. And so essentially what you're doing on these different platforms, okay, is you're creating more followers. You're putting out more content, okay? And so the more people you connect to and the more people that are following, okay, the more people that you're going to have to market to. Someone told me this, if you have a list of a thousand people, of people who are actually consuming and like your content, they say a thousand people, you'll never have to worry about finding clients again. Okay. That's pretty small. Most people, if they just stay consistent enough, can easily build up a thousand people that are actually committed okay, to what you have to say. Okay, but sky's the limit, right? We want to build as many followers as we can on these different platforms. 
Okay, and I'm gonna tell you a little secret here in a second. So now once we get more people on each one of these platforms, now we gotta cross promote them. So now on your LinkedIn, hey guys, come follow me on YouTube. Hey guys, come follow me on Instagram. Guys, come follow me on Facebook. So you're constantly pointing people to these different platforms. Okay, and through pointing people to these different platforms, essentially what you're pointing them towards is you're pointing them to, hey, let me help you more. Here's more value. Here's the three steps to this. Here's uh, the map to creating real estate. Here's the map to creating your abs. And so we constantly, again, giving, okay? And then essentially we're creating a list and to create lists, okay, we're essentially putting them in our emails, okay? We're putting into our text messages, okay? And so then we're constantly messaging people. We put them into our Facebook Messenger, Okay, and the more we build up the tribe of people, okay, now when you have an offer to drop or a new program or a new event, okay, you've been giving them all this valuable content for all this long. Now when you actually drop an offer, okay, people are going to be much more likely to jump on it. Okay, but if you're not building your following, you're not posting, you're not doing videos, you're not doing these things, I, I just don't know what to tell you. <laughs> no one, no one jumps into this field automatically having all these people that all of a sudden want to buy your stuff. Okay. It takes time. And the more you hold back in what you're delivering, the more you hold back your information, the more you approach, like I'm not giving anyone anything until they pay me. The more you begin in that mindset, the further away you're actually going to be begin your business. Okay, you have to start doing this. You have to be really consistent with doing it. Okay, think about your favorite TV show. Okay, imagine if they released four episodes, but they did it over the course of five months. Would you stay committed to that show? No, you probably wouldn't. You wouldn't be as interested. You'd be frustrated. Okay, maybe even pissed off. Okay, your followers and people that consume your content are the exact same way. They want you to show up. They want to learn from what you're telling them. They want to hear your experiences. Okay. Who gives a shit what the person that doesn't agree with is saying? Okay. Who gives a shit what they're saying? And what someone told me is like, your haters will never care. Okay. And your followers and your friends are going to always listen. Focus on the message and who's it going to, not who's it's not going to. I promise you, I promise you, you're going to have people that say mean things or don't agree. That's fine. Guys, you don't have to follow them. They don't have to follow you. Settings are pretty, <laughs> the settings on social media are so detailed. Okay, you can distinguish that. However, don't hide yourself. The best coaches are seen and heard. Okay, and they're seen and heard at a bigger level. You have to be seen. You have to be heard. Okay, and I think the main thing is that we're afraid of being seen. Okay, and thus we're not being heard. We wake up, we brush our teeth, we comb our hair. We spend so much time getting ready in the morning to be seen. But how many of us are waking up? We're warming up our voice. We're singing right? We're opening our mouths. How many of us are working on being heard each day? Yeah, not as many as people out there of being afraid to be seen, okay? Be seen, guys. Be heard. The next level of your business is being seen and being heard on another level, okay? In my next video, I'm going to talk about how you can strategize these posts and how to put posts together in order to attract more people into your tribe. Okay, hope you enjoyed this, guys. Be inspired, be next gen, and again, you know what it is. The world needs you.